Retired detective Robert Anzalotti exclusively revealed in an upcoming A&E documentary that he has solved his seventh cold case linked to serial killer Richard Cottingham, also known as the Torso Killer and the Times Square Killer. Marianne de la Sala, 17 years of age, disappeared in January 1967 after finishing her shift at the Shipwright on Essex Street in Hackensack, New Jersey. Her body was discovered three months later in Jersey's Passaic River, though the case remained unsolved until March 2022, when Anzalotti coaxed a confession out of Cottingham with whom he had developed a relationship over the years. The documentary also features never before heard audio tapes of conversations between Anzalotti and Cottingham, some of which the killer didn't know were being recorded. Ultimately, Cottingham, 76 years of age, would go on to tell Anzalotti that he may have murdered as many as 100 women in the tri-state area in the 1970s. Absolutely shocking, disgusting. Cottingham is currently serving six life sentences after to being convicted in the early 80s of five murders across two separate trials in Jersey and one in New York. In late 2022, he confessed to the brutal slayings of five additional women for which he was sentenced to an additional 25 years to life for each victim. Cottingham is likely responsible for dozens more cold case murders to which the police have not successfully connected him. Anzalotti said he was determined to use my retirement as a tool to get Cottingham to talk about more of those cold cases. The killer earned his name because he cut off the limbs of his victims and even beheaded some of them. Quick commentary, I'm going to applaud this guy, this retired detective Robert Anzalotti, going to applaud him. He's spending his time wisely, being very, very helpful to the friends and family of the victims. Let's hope that Robert Anzalotti is able to help solve even more cold cases.